I can't find closure for my daughter's death in the hotel. I need to go home. Joy Wellington and her two sisters are stranded in Jamaica after leaving her home in Edmonton in January to bury her daughter, killed in a car accident on the Caribbean island. I had a head-on collision with her car and knocked her car off the road into a, into a wall. Because the crash was under investigation, she had to wait months for an autopsy before police authorities would release her daughter's body. As cases of COVID-19 rapidly increased, airlines in Canada suspended its flights to the Caribbean in January. At the end of February, Wellington was able to bury her daughter. But after the funeral, a hurdle to get home. We were supposed to return to Canada on March 20, 29th. And then we got an email to say that flight was cancelled until April 30th. But then we got another email to say the flight was canceled again until May 1st. Now that flight, May 1st flight is canceled with no definite um, rescheduled date. This week, WestJet announced it was extending its temporary suspension of international sun flights to destinations in Mexico and the Caribbean until June 4th. In a news release, the company writes as more Canadians are vaccinated, government policy will transition. But for Wellington, that's just too long of a wait. Bills are already adding up back home and the money is slowly running out. But the worst part of it is just sitting here not knowing knowing what's happening, not knowing when we'll be able to leave. She's calling for some compassion and leeway for those that have had to leave the country out of necessity. The sooner she gets home, the sooner she can properly mourn her daughter. I know it's a personal thing. It's not the world's responsibility, but it does seem like nobody cares and nothing is happening for me. In Edmonton, Rochelle Sufi, City News.